important just for the entire secondary and obviously a lot of the starters on defense just to go out there, you know, feels what it's like to go out and tackle somebody. You know, it's been a pretty much a whole year, but uh, I thought we had a really great showing. I think I only played three drives, but uh, we did pretty good. Didn't allow any points, got a turnover, a couple sacks. So, I mean, it was a great showing for the defense. You know, last week we saw Tierra up in Minnesota. Tonight we see Danico. That front seven is going to do a lot for you guys this year. Yeah, it's been a big story, obviously. You know, this entire offseason, all training camp, those guys, they want to hunt and they're going to hunt. So from the guys on the back end, it's, it's a great sight to see when those guys are hunting that are obviously uh, allow us to you know make a lot of plays on the back end. Talk about the confidence. I mean, this team lost seven games in row down last year, but you guys seem as, as confident as ever. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole new year, honestly. Uh, you always have to reset yourself, recenter yourself every off season, And uh, it's been one of the better training camps I've ever been a part of. The energy every single day. I mean, we just had our little blue and white scrimmage that we had because New England wasn't down here. And I mean, guys were really competing really hard. So uh, it's exciting going into the season. Like I said, we're very confident. And, and as a defense, we, like, we feel like we can compete with anybody. Garer and, and uh, Kendall and all these mm -hmm. guys, how, how much do you feel for them over the next 72 hours? Yeah, man, it's, it's obviously one of the tough parts about this business. But one thing I will say is all those guys have, have made it very tough for the coaches and the organization when it comes to those cuts because I feel like they've all uh, shown themselves and shown some value, not only just on defense, but on special teams as well. So we'll see what happens with those guys. And even if those guys, you know, some of those guys don't make the 53, hopefully we can break it back on the practice squad because I was impressed with every single one of them. How you feel like sure. you? Uh, I feel like I played with discipline, you know, uh, especially from, from a special team standpoint. You know, some people might have questioned why I didn't retire a few of them, but I was just, you know, just playing my game. Honestly, I know one of them I should have retired um, when it was a plus 50 situation. I feel like I had enough room, but just decision based on as a special teams guy, just making sure putting the offense in the right position, you know, being aggressive, but also smart at the same time. On that last return, Coach Red will call the timeout, put you back out there. What's going through your mind as, as he uh, tells you that? Uh, no, it was another opportunity, honestly. You know, I, went, I didn't feel away from it. I feel like a very confident guy, confident in myself. So just going out there, know that I was called upon. So obviously he depended on me to go out there and make a play. And um, I was able to put us uh, past the 50. But also I give credit to the guys in front of me as well. Can you take me through that, re uh, that, that touchdown kick you had from, from Lewis on that? Right. Uh, honestly, they was in the zone coverage from a defensive standpoint, so I knew I had to get over there pretty quick, and he was able to find me in the back of the end zone, and much credit goes to him, but also to the old line for giving him enough time to get out there and be able to throw the ball, and just thanks to him, you know, that was my first NFL touchdown, so a bittersweet moment. My family was able to be here, so I'm excited. Rick can't wait to go talk to them as well. It's always been a plan to play in the NFL. No, oh, my bad. Uh, it's always been a plan to play in the NFL, but like, you know, when all that was over and said and done, I wanted to come to Nashville anyway. So it was just like a, like, you know, opportunity that was there that I could, you know, hopefully make happen for a long time, uh, you know, so just trying to do that. How's the experience been, you know, watch the things you do over there with, with Coach Lolo Lopez and with Ryan Cross, how's that experience been? Yeah, I try to take everything in, you know, every coaching, uh, coaching point I can take, you know, I try to take it in because, you know, I'm no better than the next man next to me, you know, so I just try to, you know, take everything in. They're just trying to help me, so, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do what's best. Do you feel like there's a lot of, I mean, 25 sacks, you feel like you know how to get to the quarterback, but, I mean, do you feel like there's a lot of untapped potential for you? Always. I think that's for anybody, you know. You you, you push yourself as far as you want to be pushed, you know, and I'm nowhere near done done with that, so, yeah. You know, here, so. there's a lot. I guess flip side of it, how nerve-wracking do you think these next three, four days are heading into Tuesday um, Wednesday? You know, there's definitely nerves there, but I've, I've, you know, whenever you try really hard and put a lot of hard work into something, you know, you just got to set the results. So, you know, I'm at peace with the uh, the body of work I've put out there. So, you know, whatever happens, you know, God's God's got me. Is that kind of a, a heightened feeling tonight, mixing hometown, last game, yeah. cut day coming? Like, you knew this was a big game for you. How did that translate to your, your play out there? Yeah, um, I just, you know, it didn't really it didn't really change the way I prepare um, because you know in this league you gotta prepare the same way every every game you can't get behind you can't get relaxed so even when I was you know out in Minnesota I was still studying like I was going to practice you know unfortunately I was just going to treatment but you know it didn't really nothing really changed um, I didn't feel any added pressure um, you know I always say if if you put the most pressure on yourself all that outside pressure doesn't really you know affect you so. That's, uh, you know, of course, uh, last year, you know, we had some moments as well. Uh, with you, Jeffrey Simmons, 
you uh, can admire. I mean, all the pieces that you all have. Uh, how good do you think this defense has the potential to be? Uh, I mean, I think I think just like off that last question, special Harold Landry back in the mix, uh, Monty Hooker back, fully healthy, everybody healthy out there. I think there's not really a, a ceiling. I think um, you know this defense will kind of take us as far as we need to go, and each game will be an opportunity to, for us to showcase who we really are. Now, as far as the preseason, I know uh, I asked uh, a couple players earlier, but are you, you you happy it's over and looking forward to the regular season? Uh, I mean. At the end of the day, yeah, camps are grind. Uh, these games are fun and great opportunities, but they don't count for what's, uh, what we're all achieving for. So mainly just excited to get to the real thing and go, go for the games that really show on the record and um, take us where we want to go. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.